Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, probably you can tell and judge by now that this is a very special day to me. Um, actually, I never expected to spend four years of my life making videos for the internet. Um, actually, um, this whole idea of recording videos for, for being watched afterwards uh, it's not something that actually uh, started with the YouTube phenomenon as such uh, back in the day when I borrowed a Super Nintendo because remember I didn't own any classic console as a kid so I used to borrow consoles from friends I used to record my footage uh, using my back in the day VHS um, tapes so I used to record my footage on mostly Donkey Kong Country that's the the, the big memory I got so I, I spent entire afternoons recording my footage on those tapes uh, of me going through the game even recording the deaths back in the day because of course there was no sense of editing like there is now. That was good times. I'm talking about back in 99, 2000, probably before before that, but around those years, uh, probably before I would say 97, 98, I used to record my own footage uh, and, and usually like to watch myself afterwards uh, since of course I didn't have the chance to play the games again and again on my own time, so instead, well, I enjoyed watching myself playing. I think from then I had this um, not obsession but no it's not the word I'm looking for it's th this preference of uh, recording myself and well at, f at first it was watching myself now of course thanks to YouTube and the online uh, video sharing uh, possibilities it was possible for me to watch other people playing uh, not only one specific game but just a bunch of uh, different titles for any possible console um, which is pretty much what we are enjoying nowadays, even the new releases out there. So it wasn't a... Um, this basically answers uh, uh, the question of a lot of people who ask um, who motivated me to make videos, who motiva motivated me to, to, to do commentary. Um, it sounds selfish and everything, but no one did. Uh, no one motivated me um, to make videos because I had that idea in, man, uh, in mind um, for years uh, unconsciously, unconsciously perhaps but when I realized that it was possible to record footage from your emulators on the computer I decided to, to, to do that and, and you know record not only one game but also of course uh, all the games I was good at at first and then just expand my own collection of footage uh, regardless the game of course uh, and regardless the fact I'm good at the game or not so you can tell a lot of my playthroughs really suck dick but for me the idea is just record myself playing a bunch of games regardless how those games are being played uh, good or bad doesn't matter cheating or not doesn't matter um, and in the terms of the commentary um, I've always answered the same thing back in the day I really needed to improve my oral English uh, because uh, I was getting horrible grades at school so I said okay what about practicing by talking about video games um, if it was possible at first to, to do live commentary while playing the video game with all those technical things about the sounds the settings and everything and since I, when, when I realized it was possible by watching, well, back then those Let's Plays or whatever, um, then I realized that it was possible to improve my English at least for, by practicing or by talking to natives and let them, you know, to see if they, they were able to understand what I was saying in the commentary. Apparently no one, or, or the majority didn't have any problem at all except a few of course who, who said you know usually hating comments and everything but the, the majority immediately understood what I tried to say uh, you will notice the commentary uh, experience and evolution throughout time 
uh, grammar wise pronunciation wise um, the vocabulary resources you know everything pretty much improved in every possible sense um, so I guess that improvement allowed me to get better grades so in that sense as well I have to say that the YouTube thing and the whole um, no let's play you know I don't like to to call my shit let's plays uh, my whole playthrough commentary thing uh, is basically what uh, allowed me to improve everything at school. Uh, so thanks to a hobby, basically, I stay. Uh, I've been studying this uh, this degree of English language thing uh, until today. Fortunately, I'm about to finish it. By the way, after a couple of uh, first horrible years, pretty much failing everything, uh, almost everything, literally, not 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 even kidding about it. So, in that sense, uh, the YouTube thing is not just uh, the, the, the seek of fame and fortune nowadays with this whole partnership thing, which is a risk because of SOPA, which I honestly, this is my only opinion on it, honestly, I don't think it's gonna pass, to be honest, but I'm still spreading the word about stopping it, like, uh, especially this is um, a task for American people, you know, uh, talk to their congressmen and everything, and se senators, everyone, uh, because they are gonna approve uh, the um, the bill or not. Again, my op in my opinion, that's not gonna happen. And if it does, I don't think it's gonna happen in the way probably everyone is, you know, dramatizing. I don't know. It, it's it's kind of complex, but honestly, with all of this pressure, especially, I don't think it's gonna happen. But anyway. Uh, regardless of that, uh, I don't want to change the topic because the topic is my four year anniversary on YouTube making videos. Uh, I'm about to complete four years as well doing live streams. That's going to happen in April. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, thanks to all of this uh, activity related to classic video games at first and now expand to modern gaming as well, either for PC and also because of the consoles I have recently bought both the 360 uh, and the PS3 uh, I've been able to not only improve my English not only uh, it's uh, allowed me to make money uh, but also um, I don't want to teach people but at least uh, let people know about certain games that probably didn't know about that was the main objective at first and it's still one of the main objectives nowadays to 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 show obscure, rare games that people probably don't really heard about or, or didn't hear about or um, weren't aware of, who knows, uh, several reasons. And uh, well, now of course the objectives have changed in the sense that I want to record lots of games uh, for different consoles and systems in order to provide a good variety. Uh, of course, the idea is to, to make as much money as possible. Uh, I am being very, very selfish in this comment, but it's what it is anyway. Uh, and that money is supposed to be used for buying games and then record more games, you know, thanks to those uh, purchases, etc. The idea is to um, not to make a big business out of it because uh, it's it's not so much what I get, but at least uh, to keep providing entertainment as entertainment as. Uh, four years ago, but at the same time getting benefits myself. So things have been changing a lot, um, not only in terms of the quality, not only in, not only in terms of the, the primary objectives, not only in terms of the commentary, but also in terms of um, what actual benefits I'm getting out of it. At first it was just to fuck around to see what happened, you know, recording lots of playthroughs without commentary, and they became very popular, very quickly, uh, fortunately. Then with the commentary, uh, I decided to set another goal, which was to practice English while playing video games and then receive feedback from people by doing this. Uh, then my objective was to get the best possible video quality, uh, ex you know, experimenting with the HD, uh, getting a better microphone. You know, objectives were like, um, changing or at least uh, adding to the whole list of objectives in general as uh, you know time went through basically um, as, as time passed and now of course with this money-making opportunity that 
actually didn't look for honestly it came to me basically they looked for me and I accepted so uh, it, it's been a long process but fortunately uh, full of evolution full of um, improvements every year there is something new to add uh, the addition of commentary the addition of better quality um, you know, being able to record not only emulators but also PC games, um, giving a, a chance to more modern games, so to speak, and now with the consoles, you know, there is a constant evolution uh, throughout these four years. So, in that sense, I am really grateful for all the support in the first place. Um, I also appreciate the feedback. The um, I, I know there are a lot of viewers who who have been watching my videos for four years and I know who they are I could mention a few right now but I don't want to because I don't want to forget anybody but at least I can mention five people who are constantly making comments on my on my videos and on, on, on the two channels that's another detail I forgot I, you know within those all crazy experiments I did you know making a second channel which I also got partner uh, which is awesome by the way but well it, it's just a detail I mean economically it's not really much of a difference to be honest um, how many partnered or not um, you know the, the whole uh, experiment of making many channels and and doing uh, stream groups or, or YouTube uh, gaming groups whatever I mean many experiments didn't work many of them are still working uh, but overall uh, the whole point was to provide entertainment regardless where regardless how regardless with who basically you know in the case of the groups uh, the retro gaming rangers at some point need King gaming at some some other points but nowadays we're just on our own but still hanging out and everything things have been changing a lot in four years that's probably the whole point of the video to tell you that things have been changing for better absolutely absolutely for better there is nothing for me to complain about nowadays or, or probably I missed you know more viewers from the past a lot of people just ignore my videos I don't know why they are still subscribed to me but I think that happens in every YouTube channel out there like there are people with you know tens of thousands of subscribers I don't they don't get more than I don't know half of their subscriber account in terms of views in my case my views don't even reach the 15% of the total subscribers I got not even 10% I would say but do you see me complaining about it I, I am not things have been changing and improving a lot throughout the years for me to be complaining at this point about little details about the um, like that one you know um, people are still watching the old videos that I posted four years ago uh, those are the most watched I mean look up on, on, on YouTube uh, Curious Adventure look up um, Yoshi's Island DS look up um, Mega Man X you will find my videos will be uh, displayed first do you see me complain about it I have to be grateful and uh, optimistic because uh, despite this whole SOPA thing which I insist I don't think it's gonna happen it's not I don't think it's gonna pass um, now this is probably gonna be the best year of all because I got partnership I can uh, make money out of a hobby my favorite hobby which is to provide entertainment either through the live streams or through YouTube remember I am uploading my live streams I'm gonna take my time to do so providing the best possible quality I found an effective way to do so no a pixelated one uh, working with two channels which are constantly being visited every day by new people and people are subscribing which is awesome um, now with the capture card I can stream and record console footage I already got a few games for the PS3 and already got a couple of games for the 360 as well so I can record and I have my brother's Wii which I can use whenever I want at some point I can even record PSP games because my brothers both of them have a PSP just have to find the method for me to record them dude this is gonna be the best year if everything goes well of course uh, you know I insist with this SOPA thing 
Um, this should be the best year because I have hacks constantly uh, being uploaded, hidden object games constantly being released and constantly being updated by me, you know, in the sense that I try to play the most recent thing out there. PC games in general, regardless if it is a casual game or not, mainstream PC games, like I did with Bully, like I did with Godfather, I have a couple of GTA games uh, planned, I have Total Overdose planned, I have Shank planned, I have Angry Birds, Plants vs. Zombies, a shitload of PC games uh, that I plan on, on, on streaming or and recording at the same time, so to speak. Um, console games, not necessarily new releases, but in general terms I will try to provide some footage on those new games. You know, uh, four years um, have been awesome in general, but this fifth year it's gonna be the best, trust me. So I wanna thank you all for supporting for such a long time, for subscribing to the channel, for making comments, for rating videos, for liking the videos, or for disliking, doesn't matter. Uh, back in the day I used to care a lot, like four years ago I remember making videos about um, forcing people, hey, if you dislike your vi the, my video, I, it, you know, I demand an explanation why. Dude, I, I fucking regret of, you know, doing such a thing, honestly. I regret doing something like that. Uh, I would have preferred a lo bunch of dislikes, but, you know, it's a hobby. And nowadays, being paid, I mean, regardless they like the video or not, uh, they are watching the video, they are, make, they are giving me money anyway, with hate or everything. I don't care, to be honest. But anyway, regardless that whole money thing, which is awesome, but um, I'm actually more excited about providing good material for you to have fun and for me to enjoy playing these new games more than the money. For me, the, 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 the idea of having fun with a hobby is still more important than making money, to be honest. Um, I haven't become really greedy yet, interested in the money like in the Mario games I play, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird feeling. Um, I'm still really excited about the content I can provide in order to entertain you and entertain myself doing so rather than how much money can I make this month. No, it's not a question here. I don't think it's a question. I never wonder that. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think... I, I wanted to do something not conventional in the sense that I didn't want to say thank you very much everyone, you are the best and blah 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 and then quit. I think the best way here is to summarize what's been happening for years. Uh, of course I have to thank you. It's my obligation to thank you because thanks to you, the ones who have been watching my videos for, for that long, on this channel, on Chillin' Retro Gamer, on the bunch of channels that I made back in the day that I don't think I'm gonna pay attention to anymore, uh, for the ones who joined by the times of the Retro Gaming Rangers with with all of those uh, group of awesome people, who, well, we had differences, but whatever, I forgot about that already, that happened two years ago. Uh, I don't know, Lady Crystal, Mega Mike 15, Bizarro 13, Grandpa Joe, um, a bunch of other people who, who well, I couldn't mention, but there are so many, so... Uh, the, the times of Naked Gaming, meeting people like Maxwell, like uh, the only Pi 314, um, Mr. Dark, Rodriguez Jr., just to mention a few. Um, but there are so many people out there that I met and I'm still hanging out with or talking to from time to time. Um, so that's probably the only or, or the last element that I want to to point out here. It's not only about the quality and the commentary and the money. It's about friendship as well. I met a lot of awesome people in four years and I really hope I keep meeting more because I don't plan on quitting this well, unless I am forced to, you know, because of what. But uh, I plan on continuing this uh, for years and years. Uh, I'm just 25 years old. I am young enough for, to continue this. Taking into consideration there are people like almost in their 40s and still making videos like this and they having no problem at all. So as long as their internet is, is still around and as long as the world doesn't end in December, <laughs> I should be able to... Um, make videos and provide entertainment entertainment like you know it's been happening from January the 19th 2008 good times uh, well I appreciate you listening to me for 20 minutes but I think for years is 
not so many people actually can get to this point. Thank you very much.